Hey everyone, welcome back to Bear's Workshop. I'm Bear, and in today's video, we are going to be exchanging out a vacuum flush toilet with a brand new one. So let me just give you a little bit of backstory. Uh, on my vacuum flush toilet in the master bedroom, we have changed the seal out twice, and twice it has failed within a few months. So I'm getting a little bit frustrated with this toilet, and I've gotten to the point where I want to replace it. The toilet's now about eight years old. Um, I don't know if it's the toilet itself or the base or just not getting good seals, but I don't want to deal with it anymore. So I went into Camping World and, oh, um, Camping World, they had toilets there. I told them I had a vacuum flush system and they said, oh, well, you can get this uh, Dometic RM310. I was like, okay, let's, uh, let's try that one. I'm like, this will work on a vacuum flush system? Yeah, sure will, no problem. You just uh, need to change over from a four bolt to a do a two bolt pattern on the bottom so and all you got to do is rotate the flange no problem so I get the toilet home I see that it's a four bolt that I had and I've got to change it to two bolt I'm like okay he said rotate the flange okay you can't rotate the flange because the flange is glued in next step um, drill some new holes on the bottom of the flange uh, put the toilet retaining bolts through them and line them up and bolt it down so I do that, I'm like, okay, quick conversion. I read it on the internet, said it worked. It doesn't work. Uh, well, one of the problems I had was the bolts wanted to spin because they weren't supposed to be there, so there's nothing holding the head in to keep it from spinning. But eventually I got it tightened up, but I had no seal. Okay, start looking into it a little bit more, find out that there's a, a four bolt to two bolt adapter plate that you can get, it was like $80. So I ordered that off the internet, thinking, okay, this is going to fix all my problems. Get this piece in, hook it up. I get it to connect. Everything's great, but I still don't have a seal. There's no vacuum. The pump just keeps running. Okay, so scratching my head what to do. So I, I get a couple additional seals uh, to go around the base of the toilet. Wedge that thing in there. I've got a vacuum seal. Okay, this is great. We we're going to make a whole video on this, but the way this resulted into total failure we did not so now we're just going to go to this after getting the seal and thinking I'm in good shape when you flush the toilet because this is not a vacuum flush toilet water was leaking out I don't know if it was caused by pulling the handle down and the vacuum pressure was uh, pushing water through places that weren't supposed to actually uh, have air pressure there were, I was getting a water leak no matter what I did so I go back into camping world for probably like the fourth time and like Oh, you know what? You can't use uh, you can't use that toilet on, on this. This is not no no. Like, well, you told me I could. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Okay, great. So I ended up returning the toilet, and the camper was going out on a rental. So I had to disable the back toilet by putting uh, plastic over the over the ball, so that it would create a vacuum seal, so that the front toilet would work. I had to give the renter a discount because that was really kind of lame, but I thought I had everything that I needed for this between rentals and getting the parts in. No, it, it absolutely did not work. Uh, I had to order another, a brand new toilet. Uh, I could have ordered the parts, but I have another rental going out in three days. The RV came back yesterday. I've got to get this thing cleaned up and back into shape in just a couple of days. I don't have time to order another toilet which I could only find one toilet in the United States that was under $1,000. That's how bad this was. So I got the toilet, uh, they shipped it, everything seems to be there. I already found one broken piece, the piece that goes around the bottom, which I'll show you, was just shattered, but I have one from the existing, so I'm not gonna sweat it. We're gonna get this toilet in, and now that I've taken the toilet out, I think about 46, 47 times, I know I can get this done pretty quickly. I'm just hoping all the parts work got my fingers crossed this this RV is going on another three days there's no way I can get another toilet in here so let's go take a look and uh, see what the mess we have is okay so this is the plastic wrap that we we stuck over the ball uh, to help create a seal so that wall the, the so the other tank the other toilet would work so I told them not to flush this at all because it would rip the seal and you can see that I opened it once and you can see the vacuum is pulling it down and it pulled it back up because we still have vacuum in there. But just opening it once broke the seal. So we're gonna take this toilet off with the plastic, toss this, and we're gonna bring in a brand new toilet. 
all the way from the base, all the way from the flange all the way up, but we're not gonna replace the flange. So let's go grab that toilet. Okay, here's the base of the new toilet. As you can see, it's uh, it's just been squashed completely. So, garbage. Okay, so before you start the removal of your toilet, a couple things you need to do. You need to shut off your water. Uh, then you need to open up your faucet so that any water pressure that's been built up there will drain out. This way, when you take off the water from the back of the toilet, it doesn't pour all over the place. We probably still get we'll still get a little bit pouring, but not too much. So make sure you get your water off, relieve the pressure, and then we we will begin. I've already done those things. Here is the uh, the cover that's been here for eight years and did not break, as opposed to the one that was shipped with it and it is in pieces. So we're going to set that aside for right now. At the base, we have the four bolts. We're going to also make sure there's no vacuum in here. Underneath this plastic that we put in, there's a, a bolt on each corner. So there's one here, one here, and then two around back. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the water first. All it is on this particular toilet is just pulling it out from the back. And this is connected to the line, uh, to the handle on the left, so I need to disconnect it from there also. So. And it just slides in and out. There's warm water pouring all over my hand right now. It's fresh water, but it's still, it's really warm. Like I just got peed on. So we've got that one disconnected. And once I get the, uh, the bottom of the tank loose, I'm going to go ahead and uh, disconnect the water from the from the handle itself. So this is just a matter of rotating it back and forth. It doesn't rotate very well. Not a lot of room, but you do get an opening wrench in there. By the way, uh, if it looks like I'm taking a shower right now, or someone spraying me with a water bottle, that's not exactly what's happening. Uh, the RV uh, is really hot right now, and it, if we look at the AC thermostat, it's going to say that I think it's a 101. Okay, I'm just stick my face in there. Okay, got all four bolts off. I'm just disconnecting the water line right now, and then this toilet is out. We're just gonna put it in the shower for a minute. All right, so when we took the bowl out, uh, this piece was connected onto here, it's siliconed on. Uh, this is the water line, our existing water line that goes from the RV, goes from the RV into here. So we had to pull this off um, and then we're going to tighten this on. The only problem with that is that we can't tighten this on because this has these pieces on the side and they're going to they're hit there. So we're going to have to take this hose off first, put this on, put this back on in order to get this going. So we're going to take off the hose clamp and we're going to pry this off. I hate taking things apart that were factory put on, but this has to happen. Now we can screw this on. We're just going to go real snug. We're not using any silicone because this has a washer in it. So that should prevent any leaking.
Okay, now we've got the hoses the way we want them. And since we have the bowl out like this, this is the brand new bowl, we can see we already have the giant hose clamp wrapped around here. Everything's already sealed, so now these seals should work without having to do anything, and hopefully we don't have to replace them for another eight years. Uh, so this is all together factory, and next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna lower this over the existing flange that's there. There's already a seal down there. They, this unit comes with a new seal, but the seal on there was literally just put up. Well, we're, we're gonna replace this seal. Let's do that first. We're gonna put a new one of these on. I, I've heard that these are one-time use only, and even though there hasn't been any poop used through it, um, it's it's been sealed once, so we're gonna take this and we're just gonna replace it with the new one. On the side, it, it does say this side up, so we know which way it goes. We're just gonna place it right over the top. We're just going to lower the bowl right over those four bolts. It's set down fairly easy. We're going to use our new nut washers. I'm sure there's nothing wrong with the old ones, but Gonna use the new ones. Okay, well, that's the end of that show, pun intended. If you have any questions about this, about how to get your toilet installed, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time on future videos. Bye-bye.